everybody. Before you do anything else, go ahead and like and subscribe. So this painting I painted in art school in the year 2012. As you can see, it's super warped. Like super warped. So what I'm going to do is paint over it and then whenever I paint, well, it's going to be a long one, whenever I paint over this has to be framed because it's so warped. And it got water damage. So that's all that. But I will paint all over this to get rid of it and air dry it. It's still humid. Got to salvage this painting. So it's someone with a really nice butt. I'm not saying that's me, but let's see what comes out of this. So I decided to put two longs on here, but I didn't decide until after I put the first one, and it's really hard to paint over Sharpie. So I know that's going to become a struggle. So I think this cow is going to have to be black and this one a very dark gray. I'm in a like a white craze, but this is not white and it's not going to be white. So this will be the only thing that's super full of color. I want to do like a very colorful mountain range, like bright yellows, bright greens. So yeah, this will be fully saturated in color. So I'm starting to add more color. It's going to be very colorful, but I'm in like a white phase now. So this has to be white somewhere. So I'm thinking the horse will be like an off-white color. Maybe one of these cows will be white. And the background is very, very light blue, almost white. But I'm going to keep some of the purple and then bring some yellows in. All right, so um, the sky is done. The mountains need a little touch up here and there. And then I'll continue with the longhorns. I think this is the most colorful painting. Well, this type of bright, you know, maybe I've done colorful stuff. But the idea was to be white, and <laughs> it's not white. So like I mentioned, I want this to be a predominantly white painting, so I started bringing in the white and the cow, the horns, but I'm unsure about how white I'm going to keep this cow. All right, so now I got the white coming in on here, the horns, the green. I still don't know what color I want this other cow to be. So now I'm going to go in with black and outline the mountains. All right, so I'm... Um, Getting closer to finishing, it just needs a lot of work, the cows do. The background needs a little touching up, and I feel like the horns need to be more defined. There needs to be like darker shades in there somewhere to create like a the under part of it. So I want the cow on the right to be like a spotted white line horn, but those spots look more like ugly clouds. It's not even clouds, it looks like a mess. So I don't know where that's going to be headed. I do want them to be white predominantly because I'm in this white craze. But somehow I still keep adding color. So I'm almost done. Yay! I'm excited. I've been working on stuff. So I just have to outline because I go over with like with the color brown, so I have to like rebring the black outline out. What does the 50 mean? Well, it's my grandpa's branding number. We can't see the butt, so we can't brand him on the butt, so I put it on the ear tag. <laughs> And 50 because one day I am gonna sell a painting for $50,000. I like that. And it won't be when I'm dead, it's when I'm alive. That's right. That's no right. one can share it, you can have it yourself. Did you know that cows have really long eyelashes? Really, really long what? Long eyelashes. Oh, yeah, they do. Are you putting eyelashes on yours? Uh, I don't think so. Well, it has two tiny ones right there. I would. Should be enough. Those two tiny ones. Yeah, I wouldn't. I feel like if I were to add a lashes, it would make it too much like a... A cow, then a... Like a... Then a long one. Like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. Ah! Ah! Oops. I'll paint over it. Oopsie. Oopsie.
fifty for fifty thousand. What does the fifty mean? That I'm gonna sell this for fifty thousand dollars. There you go, babe. Well, I'm finally done, and I'm really in love with the way it came out. I know I wanted this to be a predominantly white painting, but I feel like sometimes the painting decides the way it's going to be painted. So it's not white, but it has white in it. I really like it. It's done. It's so pretty. I love it. Let me come right back. So now it is done. Well, almost done because it needs my signature, but I always wait till after the frame is done because sometimes I tend to be crooked to not have a straight edge to go off of. And I solved the warp issue because thanks to this frame, it's no longer warped. I like it. I love it. It looks really awesome. And I guess it's time to put the final touch. And there it is. Carrasco 19. I love it. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching it. If you got this far, tell me in the comments what you think about it or what you would like me to see paint me next. What would you like for me to paint next? Hope that I didn't know I said this. Well, that's it for everything. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, adios y bye.